PLC stands for Professional Learning Community and it's an opportunity for not only the classroom teachers but our extension of teachers, our resource teachers, our professionals within reading, writing, math, literacy uh, join in a group um, and it's an opportunity for our group to discuss what's happening with our students. I want you to think outside the box and I want you to start thinking about engagement activities. I want you to think about rigor activities according to that rigor rubric. Which if this would help, we can We focus a lot on data and what we've done and basically what you've seen, how to get it better. So looking at student work and how do we improve it. Um, so no matter where they fall, even the kids who are scoring high, how do we get it better? The kids who are scoring low, low, what's the root of the issue and how do we get them to improve? It's nice to be able to collaborate and talk about where we're at, what we're doing, and what we expect third graders to be able to do. PLCs, I think, are really intimidating to a lot of teachers, but they shouldn't be. It's really everything that we've already been doing in terms of collaborating with other teachers. The only difference is just making sure that we're taking that next step into what you're doing next to help your kids. So yeah, you might talk about your course plans, but you're not talking about where you're moving your activities. You're talking about more, how did it go for your kids? Did they learn what you wanted them to learn? Did it meet that learning target that you talked about? And if it didn't, what's the next step? I would definitely say it's a learning process, but the results are evident in our kids and what our kids are doing. We are grouped a lot more right now, uh, where we're in ability groups and we have this new acceleration block and we all share each other's children. And the idea of a PLC is to discuss what you're seeing of your children and sharing out what you notice of other teachers' children.